African Bank has launched a new television commercial. It's centered around the word audacity. What exactly does that mean? I'm joined now on Mags on Media by the group head of marketing at uh, African Bank, uh, Sibususa Kumala. Good afternoon to you and welcome. I love this word audacity that you use. Let's start with this. Explain the background, if you would, to the positioning and how in many ways it takes the bank back to its roots. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, so we've just we've just repositioned our brand. And what we did when we uh, embarked on this work to reposition, we really looked at the history of the bank. Where did it start? What happened? Where is it now? And what's really the story? What's the narrative behind the brand? So when we interrogated everything that, you know, from the time that they started, the time that they had the idea, the 70 rand that they raised at the very first conference, this was just so inspiring for us. And then we all know that African Bank has had its ups and downs, and we are where we are today. However, there's such a strong heritage. So what, what, what inspired the founders to start this bank? What inspired them to start something that was going to serve the people? And there was just one word that could articulate everything that the brand has gone through, the context in which it started, the defiance, the never die spirit, the resilience, the tenacity, and that word was audacity. And it was not just about having audacity, but it was the audacity to believe. And I remember in one um, interview I had with the founding chair, and I was asking the question, what made you embark on this? What gave you, what just gave you the drive? And he just looked at me and says, but see, so we believed in South Africa. We believed in our people. And we believed that our people needed a, a home that could provide for their aspirations. So for me, you know, there it was. They were audacious enough to start a bank, but they started it because they believed in their people. Let's fast forward now to 2022. And I come back to that word audacity. What do you want your customers to take out of that? How is this going to impact their banking life? I think the most important thing, Jeremy, is if we look at South Africa, if we look at globally, if we look at customers and consumerism, and we look at digitization, um, you know, you probably have a Facebook account, you probably have a Twitter account you're not paying monthly fees on those platforms. So banking needs to also move with the times. Uh, we are a bank that um, is audacious. We are a bank that is, was started to, to advance the lives of our people. So what we want the customers to take out is that if you're going to choose a bank, don't just do it for the sake of banking. Choose a bank that believes in you because we already believe in the customer. We believe that the customer wants to go to school. We believe that they want to improve the lives of their own lives and the lives of their children. We believe that they want to extend their houses. We believe that they want to start businesses. There are many South Africans who've got an eight to five, but they've got a passion that's five to eight. They've got a side hustle. How does banking, how does banking play a role in what that person's aspirations are? So the takeout is really um, be audacious, we are audacious. We believe in you. And if you want a bank and you want to choose a bank, choose a bank that believes in you. I think you've partly answered my next question. You talk about it being a bank for the people, by the people, and serving the people. In many ways, what you're also telling me, if I'm understanding you, is that you want to be seen as a catalyst for change. And that is reflected in the positioning. Am I right? You're absolutely right. We are a bank for the people. We are a bank that is run by the people. So most importantly, we are a South African story of pride. We are a South African story of, you know, a, a true a, an example of what you can get when people come together with a goal. And the goal is not to serve their own interest. The goal is actually to serve the interest of the greater uh, 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 society. So for us, those things are, are, are quite close to our hearts and they're quite close to what we stand for. So we are not shy to say 
we are a bank for the people because we were born for the people. Today, I'm privileged to stand on the shoulders of those that came before us that had this vision. And the task that we have is to say, how can we deliver that? Because people are still disempowered. They're still trying to get access to funding. They're still trying to have a bank that would truly serve their needs. They're trying to improve their lives. They're trying to buy homes. So, Spoo, I think you've partly answered my next question, but you talk about African Bank being, and I quote, a bank for the people, by the people, and serving the people. So in other words, if, if I'm hearing you correctly, it's about being a catalyst for change. That, I would imagine, is an integral part of the new positioning. Am I right? Um, where we, our customers today are still struggling with the same things that they struggled with prior. They're still struggling to uh, get access to credit. They're still struggling to get banking that would really serve their needs. And most importantly, we all know that in order for us to grow the economy, we are going to have to stimulate business. We're going to have to support entrepreneurs that have ideas, that want to start small businesses, that want to start medium-sized businesses, that want to grow their businesses, that want to create jobs. So for us, uh, our positioning reflects the aspirations of where the country is and where the bank wants to play a significant role. So when we say we are a bank for the people, by the people, we truly mean it, mm. and it's going to be an expression that would show itself through our products and through our services. As we have this conversation, the new positioning is also bittersweet. We can't ignore the fact that African Bank's brand ambassador, Ricky Rick, passed away just as this TVC, the television commercial, was about to be launched. I want you to reflect on that. Maybe the starting point here is why did you choose him as a brand ambassador, as someone to participate in this television commercial, where was the coalescing of his brand and your brand? Uh, J Jeremy, um, you know, we're, we're, we're still shocked and saddened. Um, for, for me personally, I think it really does hit home. I think I think a lot of people are, are dealing, we're just dealing with a lot. And um, for us, um, if, I'm to, if I'm to reflect on the, on, on, on the work that we did with Ricky, you know, we actually started doing the bigger piece, which is the documentary. Mm. Because there's a story about African Bank that really needed to be told. And Ricky came in, and that's what he was busy with. And whilst we were working on that, um, the need to reposition ourselves um, came about. And Ricky was really like family. He really was part of the project. Um, he spent quite a lot of time with the founding chair, asking questions. We're working on a documentary, and we've been working on this for months. And the positioning ad, it was just something that we started, we, 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 we filmed in January, finished filming in February, and we released it. So there was a bigger piece, there was a bigger piece of work that, uh, that he was doing. And, and, and he, he really, you know, the story of African Bank was something that for him, meant so much that he put his heart and soul into the project. So I remember doing um, an interview just before he passed, and, and I was asking him why he chose us. It was, we never cast Rick. We never cast Ricky. Um, Ricky, Ricky uh, was a natural fit for our repositioning because it was a message that he's taking to the people from what he got when he spent so much time uh, with Dr. Sam Motsunyan. And um, I think we'll always remember him for the great 
artist that he is, the great communicator that he is, the talent that he has. And, you know, there was no better person to take that narrative and translate it mm -hmm. to South Africa because we want to really inspire the nation. We want to inspire young people. We want to, we, we, we're not a bank. We're more than a bank. We are about, um, we're about family, we are about homes, we are about growth, we are about advancing lives. Um, we are about making a, a difference, a meaningful difference. And, and it was, we're fortunate that we had him do the last piece of work with us. And I think we'll always cherish that. I know how difficult that part of this conversation is for you. And thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to end this conversation by uh, reflecting on your last answer and playing the television commercial. Sibusiso Kamala from African Bank, thank you. Thank you. question was then asked, but why don't we form our own bank in South Africa? 70 rand was raised and put on the table out of our pocket. Who starts a bank with 70 rands? When every other bank was started, it was just a business opportunity. For African Bank, the founders saw an opportunity to uplift the lives of its people. They opened their doors in 1975. This was a bank that believed in you. Every product gave you permission to create the life you deserved. Every loan helped you send your children to school and to start businesses. Every savings account brought you closer to a brighter future. If African Bank had the audacity to start a bank with only 70 rands, what's stopping you from being audacious? But it's not about the 70 rands. To achieve anything of significance, you must have indestructible belief. If those around you don't believe in you, make the rest of the world believe in you. Don't just live for the sake of living. Be audacious. Be relentless. Go after what you believe in. And when it comes to banking, don't just bank for the sake of banking. Have the audacity to join the bank that believes in you.